Hey guys, Danger Buff here, back for another video, and I know, I know, I've started making shorts which tie straight into my next series. I have, let's be honest, I haven't got the third part finished. So, um, but what I am going to do, which is still series, kind of, maybe, potentially part series, uh, is run you guys through the entire timeline of uh, years and dates because I know that my series does take quite a lot of time gaps so yeah hope you enjoy it guys leave a like and subscribe and enjoy the video so where this where my first season starts off is 2018 so yeah it'll, first season was rise to power should be in the top corner here uh, so from that we go in straight into my second season, which was D D Decimation, which was the crossover between the Avengers and the Ninja. So the first part of that takes place in 2018, but when Thanos snaps, there'll be a clip of that on the screen. Uh, that's obviously where the first part ends. The, set, the first 3 minutes and 47 seconds of the second part also take place in 2018. But after the 5 year time gap, it goes to 2023. So, yeah. Oh, Decimation Part 2. The final battle and stuff's in 2023. Which then ties in 2 weeks later. Frost vs. Flames in my 3rd season. Uh where Nia's obviously off with the Avengers and the ninja are fighting the overlord who is siding with the ice samurai and Lloyd Captain America and Zane get trapped in the never realm and that's where Lloyd meets Akita but also during season three I die and also during season three there's a Lego Spider-Man short that me and Robert Campbell worked on. There's a picture of that right there. But then after that, season 3 continues and the ninja defeat the overlord. Uh, and that's the end of that, supposedly. So after that, Return to, Return to Despair, which is the movie I made after that season based upon... The ninja going back to the Never Realm to find Captain America and Akita. In the end of that movie, uh, which is two days after the season three finale, that therefore makes everything bad. Well, not bad, but like massive time jump to 2038 which in the last scene of that is where Lloyd's talking to the ninja's kids which go to his uh, training school thing and there's a picture of that there. So two things happen in that 15 year gap uh, between season 3 and 4 which is Spider-Man Web of Wonders which is the short films I made and then put them all into one which is based around Miles Morales getting tricked by Mysterio and trapped in the main Marvel dimension and he joins the new Avengers which Bucky leads who is the new Captain America as Steve gives up the and the story that I'm writing called Expectations follows Lucas's upbringing which explores like his memories and how he grew up and that is set that is set in like 2031 so that's like seven years before the ninja actually well before the fourth season so Lucas and Claire and the other ninja kids are just children at this time the story is not done yet, but when it is done, it will probably be animated. So, yeah. Next. And then the first scene of Rise, 
Hackers, which was my fourth season, is where Danger Butt, well, Danger Butt, <laughs> me, Harumi, Lloyd, and Jay break into the temple place and then fight the Pyro Viper where Lloyd unlocks his uh, big energy surge thing. That's all set in 2024, so before the remaining teams split up. And then the rest of the episode is, the rest of the first episode, episode 2 and episode 3 is 2038. 2 minutes and 11 seconds of episode 4 is in 2038. And then it's kind of a flashback episode where Akita tells Lloyd he's going to be at Dad's 2024 which then leaves the rest of the episode, the, then leaves Akita when she runs away from Lloyd, Lucas and Claire is 2034 and the rest of episode 4 to 10 is set in 2038. So now after the finale of Rise of the Hackers which sees the J. Cole, Nia, Kai, Skylar, Clutch Powers get trapped. Oh, and me, obviously, get trapped in twi the past. Uh, but the Christmas special, the first 27 seconds of that are set in 2038. And then 1 minute and 32 seconds of the Xmas special is set in 2023 where Kai and Skyler meet Santa. The rest of the Christmas special is set in uh 2038. And then Corrupted Code, which ends out the entire, like, the virus storyline. Uh, part of it's in 2038, and obviously, as I said, part the other parts where the ninja are in 2023. Trying to get back to the future. Huh. Not copyright. So then, New Year happens after Corrupted Code, where Zane sacrifices himself. To save all the others and defeat the master hacker and virus. Sorry, that was just me plugging in my laptop. Anyway, then after the new year, Ninjago Fallen Realms happens, which is set in early 2039. And that sees the realms get destroyed and the ninja have to team up with Sentinel and other versions of themselves from the, you know, other realms that haven't been destroyed yet. But the result of that sees the ninja inside the Prime Empire, which is, the first four episodes are set in 2039 in the Prime Empire, but episode five of that is set in 2025, and that sees Harumi, like Harumi's backstory, where Garmadon and Floyd and if you're not sure who Floyd is, Floyd's Lloyd's brother and Harumi's brother. But yeah, I'll do another video on family trees and stuff in my series. Anyway, that's in 2025 and then the rest of the season finishes in 2039 in May. So then after that, the three shorts, well two shorts I've already done and the third one that I'm working on which is Street Race, Guys, Guys, Guess What, which is my 50, these are for my 50 subs, and they're more funny, er, and Car Thief are all set in 2039, and then, uh, Car Thief leads straight into Street Fighters, which is coming in summer, well, not, probably May in real life, but, it's, it'll be set in the summer and the scripts aren't finished yet but it sees the ninja dealing with criminals which aren't super powered so there you go bunch of spoilers anyway thanks for watching guys leave a like and subscribe if you're new and enjoy the content I've got a playlist of my entire series. There is a video of me scrolling through that right here in the top corner. And if you have time, well, most people do have time because of quarantine and isolation and coronavirus and all that rubbish. 
uh, go check it out. The first three seasons are very terribly animated because that's me kind of just starting out animation. And I wasn't really used to the different frames per second. But I have another video coming. Maybe today, maybe not. But yeah, I'll see you guys in another one. Follow me on TikTok at Danger Buff Product, Instagram at Danger Buff Productions, and Twitter at Danger Buff Productions. And yeah, stay safe, wash your hands. See you later. Peace.